Today on Dub World, we are doing another parts review. We're going to take a look at installing 2.5 inch drop spindles on the 69 German Market Beetle. This is for a ball joint front end. If you're ready to get a review of this product, sit back and let's go. We're doing drop spindles today on the 69 Beetle on Dub World. I'm not filming the whole process here because I'm trying to get this job done quickly and moving around the camera and all is just not going to be conducive to that. So basically this is going to be more of a parts review than it is an actual installation or removal. We've got everything taken apart here. We've got the tie rod off. We've got the brake drum assembly off and the backing plate with the shoes. The wheel cylinder, I am replacing wheel cylinders and hoses. Hoses off as well. Next thing left to do will be to take off these two nuts here that hold on the spindle. Remove this spindle and then install the new one. Guys, we're unboxing the, the empty drop spindles. Take a look at these boys. And obviously I'm I'm holding the camera phone, so i got one hand here. Spindle. Actually, I was very impressed with the finish. It's a nice painted coating on here. It looks like it's machined very well. It's a nice heavy casting. Looks good. So, so far, I'll, I say it looks good. We'll see how it fits and how it does the job. All right. So, this is not a good sign. I went to put the brake drum on. And it didn't seem to want to go on over the spindle very well. These are brand new bearings. Other side went on fine. So I put it on, pushed it on, it seemed to be okay. I went to put the outer bearing in and it did not even want to go over the shaft. So I pulled the drum off and this is what I have. The bearing stuck on the shaft, the seal sitting here. So now we've got to decide what's going on. Has this been improperly machined? That won't be fun. Installation went fine. The outside quality of the part looked good, the casting. Um, the issue that we have here, it's hard to focus on because I can't really get in here. Your brake goes in really close. You cannot get this bolt off for the wheel cylinder because it hits the arm. You can take the wheel cylinder off, but you can't get the bolt out. My other concern is the possibility of this brake hose hitting the tire when I was turning the suspension. But our real big problem is like I just showed you, the brake drum would not go on fully. The inner wheel bearing was hanging up on here. And this outer wheel bearing, when I went to put it in the car, this is what happened. That's stuck right there. Now this is supposed to be sitting in here. Not out here, but in here. And that's where we're at. So this has not been machined properly. The tolerances are not correct. Same with this here. Now you got two choices. Take it off and try to get another one. Or get some polishing cloth and polish this needs to be even in order to make this slide on here depending on how bad the tolerances are now let me show you the stock spindle so here we are with the stock spindle I take the bearing you can see here slides down on this now this is a really tight fit um, you can see here pulling it off it's tight. The tolerances are real particular on here. But it does go on, as you can see. Where is the empty one? This will not fit over the end. You can see how much is sticking out here. All right, so for perspective and comparison, I went back to the driver's side here. Now this is one of the old bearings uh, with the new spindle I just want to show you how this fits on here. See that? It goes right over. Nice and smooth. Barely. It's pretty looped up here. 
hangs up a slight tab right there on the edge where this line is right here. But other than that, it fits over there nice. Now we're gonna try the outside bearing and see how that works. Now, look at that. That actually is fairly loose. So we have one spindle that has not been machined correctly. Tolerances are bad. One is good, driver's side, passenger is bad. There we go with MP quality. So I'm gonna to give this a fail. Well, after quite a bit of sanding and filing, filing and sanding, we finally have success here. This outer one was really bad. Inner one is not as bad, but we're ready to reassemble. We fixed the defective MP spindle. So after a lot of hours of work, I was able to complete the job and I wanted to leave you some before and after photos of what the car looked like with the lowering completed. One thing I need to point out is that these spindles push your wheels out a little bit. In my case, I have five and a half inch wide stock wheels. And because of this, the wheels were too wide and the tires were sticking out past the fenders, which made the car undrivable. I would have had to have put lower profile tires on it. And I really didn't want to do that. I was unhappy with the whole process, unhappy with the quality of the parts. So I decided to put it back to stock. And I think you'll agree the car looked beautiful at stock height. So my overall review is if you decide to purchase these, please be careful. Try your bearings before you even start the job. Make sure they fit correctly. If they don't, just get another set. Also note, if you're taking them off, it's extremely hard to get the tie rod off the empty drop spindle without damaging the boot because of the way the spindle is made. Well, that's my review. Thanks for tuning in to Dub World, and I'll see you real soon.